Item 10B, adopt a resolution authorizing the City Manager to reject all bids and execute a four-year contract pursuant to Public Contracts Code Section 20167 with West Valley Construction for water main repairs in an amount not to exceed first-year budget of $92,000. Providing water services for uh, our residents is like for any other service provider is critical and important to minimize any interruption to the services due to any system failure or main breaks. Also, it's important to minimize any damage to private property as a result of those system, possible system failures itself. Historically, our department provides ongoing preventive and uh, maintenance and also repair of small failure or smaller water main breaks to maintain the system. Also historically relied on outside support when was necessary for bigger type of job to have water main emergency uh, repairs done. Reason why back in 2007, through a public bid process, the city entered, as the result of a public bid process, the city entered in a contract for emergency and spot repair for sewer and water with West Valley construction. Since then, West Valley Construction provided very high quality, reliable, and responsible services for us with a reasonable cost. Their contract is expired at the end of this year. Last year in August, the city went out with a bid request for emergency and spot repair contract for sewer and water. Unfortunately, the city received no bid. Our process was not successful. Receiving feedback from the construction community, the city restructured our bid package and separated water from sewer. In January, the department went out only just for a sewer spot repair contract rec uh, proposal request and was successful and you awarded that contract to Trinet Construction for sewer spot repair. Subsequently, the department in April went out with, with a emergency and spot repair for water only. The department received two bid proposals, one from West Valley and one from Trinet Construction. Both of those proposals were almost double versus our engineering estimate. Our engineering estimate was developed based on historical cost of the same type of operation experienced by the city in the last few years. The public contract code recognized the fact that not in all instances the comparative bidding process will result in the lowest contract cost. To prevent local agencies to spend higher ratepayer money to implement those projects, Section 2167 of the Public Contract Code enable the legislative body of the agency to pass a resolution based on a four to five vote to reject all of the bids and to go out on open market and to implement the project with, uh, with the best available contractor. 
reason why is our recommendation for you tonight to reject all of the bids and to enter in a four-year contract with, with West Valley Construction based on their prior performance from a, they provided, how I mentioned before, high quality services, very responsive, and with a reasonable cost to enter with West Valley Construction in a four-year contract with the first year limit of $92,000. This $92,000 is the line item dollar limit included in our approved water, distribu water distribution operating budget for this year cons uh, emergency contract repairs. This number resulted from a historical experience, how much typically the city spends on this type of uh, activity. I will let uh, Mark Zaffarano to make some additional comments about this specific uh, requirement and section of the public contract code. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, I just have one comment uh, that probably isn't obvious from looking at the staff report, and that is that uh, this is an example of where staff and the public contracts code, uh, actually the competitive bidding process worked. The reason for that is because after the first um, set of uh, documents there were no bidders to, the staff could have come back to the city council and said, let's use... Uh, Section 20167 right now. They would have been authorized to do that when there's no bids. But instead what they did is they went the extra mile and they spent a great deal of time and effort putting together specific uh, bid packages both for water and wastewater. And the result of that process was that we did get a competitive bid for, uh, for, the, for the wastewater. And so then doing the same thing for water unfortunately turned out, yes, we got some bids, but they were much higher. So this is a great example of where this section of the Public Contracts Code, which is well known but not used all that often, uh, comes in handy because in most times, the, when you go out and rebid it, you'll get something or if you restructure the bid, it'll, it'll come back and then you'll have some, some reasonable bids. In our case, we, we did it once, it worked. Uh, we did it again for the second part of it, it, it really didn't work. So now it's an opportunity to use this, this section of the code. Thank you. Any questions of staff? Sure. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like a service agreement. It's for spot repairs. It's for emergency repairs. So how are we supposed to even, you know, determine the amount? I mean, if you, you, set, a, you set a maximum of 92000 what if they exhaust all that? You're going to come back, you know, for more. Before you know it, uh, you got to... Well, not, not being the engineer in the bunch, uh, I'll, I'll answer that question. <laughs> we, I'll just say we, we spent a great deal of time trying to determine uh, what kinds of contracts were service versus not mm -hmm. service versus public works versus maintenance versus all kinds of other things in the public contracts code. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it's frankly not all that clear uh, what you can do with contracts like these, which really are essentially on-call kinds of contracts. As you say, you don't know whether you're going to get a call tonight, tomorrow, next week, or maybe never. Um, and the best thing that staff could do, due to staff's efforts, was put together um, a bid package that tried to cover all of those contingencies. You can imagine how difficult that would be. And amazingly enough, for wastewater, we did get some bids that were, that were pretty good when we did that. We, we didn't get those uh, excellent bids uh, for, for water, and so that's the reason why we're, we're doing it this way. And you're right, it makes sense to, to do it now, essentially as a, a service contract with uh, with labor and materials. Well, I, I, I would assume that, it, thank you, I, I would assume that the description of the project, the emergency or whatever, will be documented and then, you know, and, and in turn the description of the work performed, you know, and how much justifying the cost of that, of that work will be, will be documented. So it's not like, 
there's just money running out and let, letting this contractor do, you know, do what they willfully want. This is a no guarantee work contract. It's on call only just in case of need. Based on our historical experience, the department never needed to spend more than in a year than about $90,000 on this type of emergency repair. Even now, this was done by West Valley and historically never was needed more than 92000 This doesn't mean that this can be a out of ordinary year and will be needed more than 92000 then irregardless of the existence of this contract or another contract, I would be obligated to come back to you and to request uh, increase of that uh, item if would be necessary. Any other questions? Yeah, Chair, okay. help me understand. I know it's asking for the resolution uh, to execute a four-year contract with the first year of a budget of $92,000. So in the second, third, and fourth year, how do we know? Does it come back to us? How do we know it's not 192 or it's not 62 in year two? Each year, the limit will be the limit set by you in the approved operation budget for this type of contract. And you already indicated that we have used West Valley Construction before, been satisfied. Uh, one of those questions I like to ask periodically is on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being superior, 1 obviously not, where, where would you rank them? Where would the department rank them? The department ring, uh, ranks them on 9 and 10. Okay. Thank you. Any questions or comments? Any action? <coughs> Council Member O'Connell? Aye. Vice Mayor Ibera? Aye. Council Member Medina? Aye. Council Member Salazar? Aye. Mayor Ruane? 